Women of America have been voting for 100 years. Only 100 years, can you believe that? The 19th Amendment was passed in August of 1920 due to the strength, the courage, the brilliance, and persistence of the people who took part in the women's suffrage movement. We women of America tell you that America is not a democracy. 20 million women are denied the right to vote. Alice Paul. Alice Paul understood how vital it was to keep the issue of women's suffrage in public awareness. She was a pioneer of nonviolent resistance tactics like hunger strikes and provocative demonstrations. People considered her a radical feminist, and for good reason. Alice Paul. No punishment will prevent those who desire liberty from demanding it. The protest of women will continue until the Senate ceases to block the way to political liberty. When the 19th Amendment was passed, Alice Paul knew this was only the beginning in the fight for women's equality. She wrote the Equal Rights Amendment. Equality of rights under the law shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of sex. What kind of sex? Oh, gender. Go Alice. This amendment was introduced in every single session of Congress from 1923 until 1972, when it finally passed. After passage in Congress in 1972, the Equal Rights Amendment was sent to the states for ratification, where it failed because not enough states were willing to ratify it. Today, in 2020, the Equal Rights Amendment is still not law. Americans continue to wait for people of all genders and sexualities to have equal protections under the Constitution. I never doubted that equal rights was the right direction. Most reforms, most problems are complicated. But to me, there is nothing complicated about ordinary equality. The election in November may be the most important in our lifetimes. Exercise your right. Protect human rights. Vote.